Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 11th of 2022 well, it is titled Io in true color. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken or a set of images taken by the Galileo spacecraft, which orbited Jupiter between 1995 and 2003. And this was completed in 1999. And it is meant to show Io in true color, as it would look to the typical human eye. And we see that Io is a very yellow moon. And that is we get the colors primarily from a couple of different elements that make up a lot of the surface of Io. Io is a very unusual object in that it is by far the most volcanically active object in the solar system. In fact, the Io it is constantly turning the moon inside out. So it is constantly being resurfaced on very short time scales. And we actually see no impact craters on the surface. They simply would not last long enough to still be visible. While impacts wear down relatively fast on Earth. For an Io, they just don't last at all. So even though Io would get hit by objects, just like any other object in the solar system, its surface is so active that they never last. Now the surface of Io is actually mostly molten, a lot of molten rock and a lot of sulfur, giving rise to the specific colors that we see. Now we might wonder why Io is such a volcanically active object compared to others in the solar system. It is uh, Io is about the size of our own moon, which is geologically dead and has essentially no activity going on, certainly not to the extent of Io. Now the difference is that Io is actually about the same size as our moon and orbits about the same distance from Jupiter as our moon does from us. However, the big difference is Jupiter is many times more massive than Earth by about 300 times. And that means that the tidal forces on Io are much stronger than Earth's tidal forces on our moon. And they serve to heat up the interior by slowly stretching the planet in one direction and then another as it orbits around it's uh, Jupiter and is also tugged on by other moons keeping its orbit from being completely symmetrical. So that will constantly tug and knead at this and much as you can work a lump of clay to make it malleable over time you can work Jupiter has done the same to Io and heated it up inside to far greater temperatures than you would expect based on the size of the object itself. So as I've said this is the most active object in the solar system and we can tell that by its complete lack of craters on the surface other than those due to volcanic activity which really completely covers the surface of this moon. So that was our picture of the day for December 11th of 2022. It was titled Io in true color. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be interstellar dust monster. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.